can't even talk. I can't help it, I can't even talk. I got me talking to me. I'm like, what? Child passes. What? These are my hands. Tell us to be a token. It's okay to get something. Don't stop. Why these people keep eyeing? Keep your ass deep on the shot of the side. Keep your ass deep on the shot of the side. Keep your ass deep on the shot of the side. Keep your ass deep on the shot of the side. to achievement first for the second half of our double header for this champions cha champions challenge 1A versus 2A 1A Gregorio Luperin Generals versus the South Bronx the 2A South Bronx Prep Cougars I'm here with Andre Johnson you know Sage Media Shaq Mitchell Andre we got a good one on tap man Man, oh man, oh man, do we have a good one up tap for us. I mean, I think this is going to be a high pace, a lot of energy matchup. Sir Patrick versus Mr. Ma Ma Mariano. And Livingston starting early. Oh, just, just, did I say Sir Patrick? Absolutely. <laughs> That's, add it early. So you add Sir on the, on the beginning of that. Excuse and me. And Mateo. 
with a quick response. Did I mention Mr. Mateo? Did I mention Mr. Mateo? For them to start out amazingly, Mateo and Livingston trading baskets to start this champions challenge. Mr. Mariano. We're officially underway now. Big shot right there from Perez. I mean, can I can I take a breath, please? Man. I mean. Man, we went from light scoring in the first quarter to up and at it. Morales to the cup. He finishes. <laughs> Morales was huge last game. Picking up right where he left off. Livingston tries one from deep. Air ball. All right, now we can all take a breath. All right. So we can actually go through the starters now. <laughs> uh, for the Gregorian Generals, you got Elian Ventura, Alexander Morales, Emel Novas. We also have Jake Opina and Mariano Mateo as he attacks the basket right now. You have a Chase Perez. We have a matchup here with two players who scored 30 points plus Man. in their in their each of their um, respective championships. Exactly. Excuse me. Yes, absolutely. And, and but Mateo and Livingston. Sir Patrick Livingston of the South Prep Bronx Eagles averaging 46 and 3. As he gets a save right there. And on the other side, you got Mariano Mateo, who just is averaging 28. As the Bronx School is a call for steps. You got him averaging 28, 4 and 4 with a 34 point, per point performance in that last win to get that city championship. And, he, and they both had the Bronx, they both had Uptown on fire. Absolutely. It's a battle of Uptown right now. <laughs> Man, fires away. Can't hit. That was Pina right there. Sophomore. So let's see how Sir Patrick gets everybody involved here. Absolutely. Who knows he can't do this alone. Mateo on the move to the basket. Left hand finish. Can't hit. Pina working on the glass. Nice footwork. Can't quite Can't hit. Fit. Great defense right there from the prep, prep Cougars. But a steal right there from Morales. Pina ends up with it again. No nice pass. pass. Morales. That no foul. foul. Man, refs are kind of letting him get after it, right? <laughs> Pina's, Pina's taking a beating. Is this WWE? Tristan Bowen on the move. He pulls up for mid-range, and he books it. Stop it and pop it. There you go, Mr. Bowen. Mr. Bowen. I like your game, sir. Fast so, start. Stops, pops. Knocks it down. La Playa, La Playa. <laughs> Did he <you> say La Playa? <laughs> Mateo starting picking up where he left off. And it's his why, first game. Why is of the his game. nickname the beach? Or second bucket of the game. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was so unexpected. When did uh, they start calling him La Playa? I not that at all. <laughs> Nunez trying to work. Bowen, the follow. Can't hit. And they're on the move. Novas to the basket. Right hand, no good. And Livingston corrals it. He gets it out to Bowen. Bowen back over to Perez. Perez over to Livingston. Livingston crossover. Gets into the lane. Kicks it out to Bowen. Bowen laces one. Can't hit. Pina with the rebound. So Mateo between oh go. Finished. Oh, Mateo. Mateo. Nice move. Can't hit, though. I don't think I'm going to get much in. <laughs> I don't think you're going to. Folks, so this is Andre Johnson. I'm here, but I don't think you're going to hear much from me today. <laughs> Shaq, you better earn your paycheck, Maybe buddy. We should just talk on timeouts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Xavier can't hit. Nunez tried to follow. He couldn't hit. Ventura comes out with it, and Mateo's on the move, getting it across the circle over to Pina. Pina, fade away. Can't hit. Xavier on the move. One euro step, left yeah, hand layup, and the ref's gonna call it for a travel. Whoo, man! I mean, I did say that it was gonna be fast pace. <laughs> I did say that, Shaq. <laughs> man, four minutes, almost four minutes have elapsed, and these teams are absolutely getting after only right four now. minutes. <laughs> right, exactly. Morales directing traffic. Ventura inside the Novas. He can't hit. Short. He gets the rebound. South Bronx, Bronx prep coach screaming for that defensive rebound right there. Mateo for three. And one. Woo! Man, I thought he hit that one. But he's going to go to the line for three free throws. 
right there as the shooter, as South Bronx didn't allow the shooter to land. You got to let the shooter land. <laughs> man, I mean, <laughs> this is a matchup, man. Out the gate, out the gate. Yo. Mateo was the high score for Gregorio Looper and an excellent, that's a little strange there. An excellent post-game interview. Shout out to Coach Randy if you're watching. Um, you know, the, that post-game interview is at 25K views, man. Man. <laughs> that's Mr. Mateo. Absolutely. That's the Mateo effect. Mateo's. And I yell, talk to my man, please. <laughs> please. He was absolutely balling in the, the interview was special as well. As he knocks down the second. And shout out to the translator. Alexander Morales. Alexander Morales. Very good three-point shooter. Three yes. Season. Very, very big for the Generals this season. Can only convert one. Tied up seven, seven. And Mateo only really able to hit one out of those three free throws right there. So we, we're, all, we're at a stalemate. Perez going back door. He can't hit. Nunez fighting for the rebound. Comes up with it. Can't hit. Pina, the rebound. And that matchup down low with Nunez is going to be huge. How's Gregorio Luperin going to hit? What a layup right there from Novas through contact. Very impressive from Mr. Emil Novas. Bowen and Xavier. And Mateo is going to get called for the hole. Fouled uh, Xavier right there. So we have the Generals out to their first lead of the game so far. Perez is going to have a seat. Sit out to Eric. Eric over to Xavier. Xavier over to Sir Patrick. How are they going to contain Sir Patrick? Short. Novas outlet to tail. He just like a, like a wrecking ball, bowling ball, <laughs> right to the basket. And that's a lot of, and that's a lot of intelligence from Mateo as well. As you see, okay, I got the star player, Mr. Sir Patrick, on me. I'm going to attack him right away, get into his body. You know, one thing that prominent scorers hate doing, well, depending on who the prominent scorer is, is, you know, getting physical. As you think about somebody like a Steph Curry, what do they always say about Steph Curry? Run him in the screens, get him involved in the action, have him exactly. rubbing against people when it comes to those screens and whatnot. Get him tired. So right. you see him, Mateo, attacking Sir Patrick right into the body as he converts to Mateo already at seven. He might be, that might be a high score stat line for Mr. Mateo. Preps point total is seven, so he's really out to a hot start as he grabs another rebound. In addition to that point, you know, you make your star player exert a lot of energy. You know, exactly. Get him tired. So he's using more energy to play defense than offense as there's going to be a turnover right there on the general. Substitution for Chase for Reyes. He's going to get the game for South Bronx Prep. And then remember, guys, this the winner of this 1A, 2A challenge goes on to play Regis High School on Tuesday in LIU for the chance to be crowned the the true champions of the city. Absolutely. So Patrick over to Perez. Perez lines one up. Misses everything. I'm sure on the move. Gets it to Pina. Pina, hop step, one move. Wow. Might have been a blocking foul right there, but somehow Morales comes up with Mateo from way downtown. And he was a couple of steps off the of half court right there. Yeah, I, I was just talking about, you know, the intelligence there, you know. Ventura got to be got to be careful. That was a very ticky tack well, foul well, there. Ventura you're you're, you're 40 feet away from the basket. Absolutely. Not a break. The best shot selection. He's the and he's his best when he's attacking. Absolutely. Livingston over the bowling. Perez. He tries his luck. He can't hit. Pena loses the handle on that rebound. Bowen can't hit. Going to stay with the and again, just like in the first matchup between uh, the Lady Eagles and construction of the Lady Eagles of Summit, you know, we have a 1A versus a 2A. What is the big difference between the leagues? Pace. 
So you see what is South Bronx Prep doing? Pressing them right Im immediately. Can you handle the press? That is the first check. And right now it seems like Mateo coming down the court. Man, I, I thought he had half a mind to dunk right there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how you break a press. Man. Perez for three. Boom. He's got it. And a turnover for the Generals. Livingston to the basket. And they call a blocking foul on, that's the second blocking foul on Elian Ventura. Chase Perez is already at six points, so Sir Patrick hasn't really been cooking yet. Absolutely. I mean, Perez has had a lot of looks early. Yeah. No, he definitely has been left open, and he hasn't capitalized on all of them, but he's capitalized on a few. The generals might want to get out. Get out there. He's defense. Telling this team they're not playing hard enough, being very vocal. Again, we talk about you know motivation. You come off such a high, you get that two-way championship, the second for South Bronx Prep as Sir Patrick converts. You get that. Two, you get that two-way championship. You know that you've been working all year. Now you have to come back out and play. You have to make sure you guys play at a high energy. Absolutely. No vibes. Can't hit. A lot of short shots in this first. That was a long ride up from, you know, uptown. <laughs> it's late. It's late. And it is late. Yeah, it's getting dark. Livingston pulls up. No vibes fouled him on the jump shot. Got to let the shooter land. That was an NBA call. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know if that's a. I'm telling you, man. Livingston's really got a DeRozan type effect. Oh, seriously, the mid range <laughs> game is serious. He loves that mid range. So unless the mid-range isn't dead, at least taking him, he's going to get over the line for two. What a competitive game we have here. Out the gate. This is the one. This is what we were looking for in terms of seeing seeing that jump, seeing where you measure up in, against a, a, you know, a league that's not in yours, how far away you are, you know? Yeah, the, and the generals are saying, hey, we, we're right here competing with the two-way champions. We're Absolutely. champions ourselves. Even if you don't win the game, you make it close, you make it a good game, you got something to talk about. Mateo to the basket. Does anybody have a greener light than Mateo? <laughs> Absolutely not. Xavier to the cup. Ooh. Between two defenders. Gets his rebound. Gets blocked. Fouled three times, if you mean. <laughs> Refs are letting him play. Dangerous pass from Mateo, but Gomez, I mean, Pena somehow comes up with it. Mateo to the basket. Short, leaves it short. Ventura just misses the steal. Livingston to the basket. You can just see Livingston is just such a gifted scorer. You see how he slightly turned his body to take the contact? Absolutely. That's just a gift. You can't teach that. You just have scoring instincts. When you have it, you have it. What a block right there from Nunez. His bench fired up off that one. And no, it's, it's, it's South Bronx Press, the Cougars. They're a very tough team to attack, you know, with Mr. Nunez standing down low, you know, the, the generals are definitely lacking in what size as a steal. That was a three on one opportunity Absolutely. there. Eight, eight, 8.6 remaining in this quarter. Generals are going to want to look to get a good shot. Oh, come on. Taylor might have got away with a push. And then he didn't. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Call for the offensive Let me tell you time. something. Mr. Mateo, Mateo must have must be Popeye the sailor, <laughs> ate some spinach. If 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 that little arm <laughs> sent him from the three point line to the baseline. I know. I, th I think we have Leonardo DiCaprio out there. <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on now. <laughs> From the three-point line to the baseline check. Man, I said Mateo must be really in the gym. We don't know about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> Memphis, they can't get a shot off before the quarter ends. That's the end of the first quarter, 15-11. But of South course, Bronx South Bronx Prep Cougars lead by just four, 15-11. Of course, I'm, I'm I'm joking when I say that, but but that's a really smart basketball play. Mateo's had two fouls. Absolutely, and you 
know, you put their star player, one who everything the game is running through, in foul trouble, essentially, right? No, absolutely. Same thing that Mateo was trying to do with Sir Patrick Livingston. Attack him early, put him in foul trouble, things like that. Oh, exactly. And just to remind everyone, this this stream, this live stream is brought to you by Sage Media Solutions. We will, how many people we have in here right now? We have 158 people in here. I'm going to give you guys a little tidbit. We will be covering the game on Tuesday. Uh, the winner of this game plays Regis High School, uh, the Catholic school for Manhattan. We will be covering that on Tuesday. So make sure you subscribe to all of our social medias, the YouTube, Instagram. Hit us a follow on there. And if you have any business inquiries, be sure to go to our website listed on the screen. So, again, it is a chance to represent the PSAL in the Catholic League versus public school champions. Who is – I've been trying – I've been holding this joke this whole time. I don't know if you like Game of Thrones, but who is the real king of the north? Who is right. the true – King right. of the city. Absolutely. Take it back to the playground. Absolutely. King of the hill. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm loving this. And, 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 and again, I just want to talk about how much I love this format. You know, we saw Summit and Co High School of Construction. Congratulations to the ladies of High School of Construction for advancing to play Cardinal Spellman on Tuesday. You know, these 1A teams, they get to measure themselves up with the 2A. And this is the best of the 1A, the best of the 2A. You're getting to bring up your division. So a very good call by the PSAL setting up a game in like this. Yeah. <coughs> well said. Ventura for three. Can't hit. Morales. Ventura over to Mateo. Mateo still in the game with those two fouls. Live pass in opinion. Ooh. I thought he traveled, but I guess he just went all the way through on his yeah, pivot he, foot. He really put that pivot foot to use. He, right he, <laughs> he pure, <laughs> so I was a pirouette. That's right, what I right. saw, right? Yeah. Great, great work right there from Pena. Must, might have looked like a travel, but oh, man. Oh. Alley oop play. Couldn't quite get it. No vibes back. Perez in transition. Oh. oh. And. I was like, who, who scored the bucket? <laughs> <laughs> There's so There's much happening there. <laughs> Novas, left-hand finish in traffic. <laughs> Livingston getting it over the timeline. Still lead by four. Oh, no. Mateo might have been. Oh, Morales called for the foul right there. Thought that th was the third. Yeah, remember, yeah, yeah, Mateo, Mateo playing with three three fouls right now. Close game here. Only a four point lead for the Cougars. Xavier looks to looks pass, then he looks to shoot. Nunez with a rebound. Can't hit. Pena. Ball's going to go back to the Jaguar. Cougars. Oh my goodness. Great defense right there for Morales. Livingston tried to hit him with a little little sham guard right there. Morales 40 feet was, away from the basket. I don't know if that's <laughs> Morales when he, scooped it out. When he made that move, I don't know if that's the intention yeah. he made that move for. Absolutely not. Traps in the corner. Able to get out somehow. Short jump shot. What a follow right there from Pena. So active on the boards early in this game. Yeah, and the battle, be the battle between Pena and Tail. Nunez is going to be huge down low. Oh, no call. Mateo in transition. Morales to the cup. What a fly right there for Mateo. And that's how they started their offense. Their offense came through. Their, their offense came a lot through transition buckets, and it was the catalyst of that was Morales in, in that last, last matchup. No, absolutely. Livingston thought about it. Now he takes a shot. He is chuckling to find the, the range right now. Morales in transition. Now Mateo. Just dribbled through three people. Somehow worked out. <laughs> what a finish. Wow. wow. <laughs> Somehow that 
sequence turned into a basket. Pull up from Livingston, and he hits. Stop it, pop it, Sir Patrick. Mr. Sir Patrick, he is up to nine points, the game leader. Tail inside the Novas, Novas. Pena working again on the glass, but this time Livingston comes up with it. 19 all, a little under, a little over five minutes to play. Step through from Livingston. Ooh. Man, he is so good with that right hand on the left side. I know it's not the textbook way, but as Morales turns the basketball over. But there it's acceptable because he could, again, contorting his body, yes, and his right hand was closer to the backboard there. The elusivity in the air is. He's able to put himself in the best position to make that layup through contact. That was the next level move. I mean, I hope, hope college coaches can clip that up, honestly. Absolutely. Up to 11 points, Sir Patrick. Livingston over to Brito. Brito can't hit. Love the fight from these generals. Morales. Splash. Morales laces one from three. Morales with a one point lead. Morales up to nine, leading Gregorio Luperin. He averages 17, so he's right on pace. Livingston over to Jaden Brito. Back to Livingston. Inside to Xavier. Xavier through contact, can't hit. Brito taps it. Xavier comes down with it. Foul. I think that's on Morales. How many fouls does Morales have? It might have been on Sedano. Oh, no, that was Morales. Yes. Second foul on oh. Alexander. So Mor Morales, Morales and Mateo at, at two fouls. Both, both of them telling coach not to sit them down. They, they got it. They can play with two. <laughs> Man, Livingston tried Is that to not a up. travel? Didn't he? Livingston tried to go up, but it was just... A plethora of Greg Luporian. Yeah, but did, didn't Perez get up from the floor with the ball just now? That's what I thought I saw. They called the jump ball. I think they got Eric in the game for the Cougars. A couple of late whistles. That might have been a late whistle. Oh, a turnover for the Cougars. Novas. Morales in transition. Novas. Can't hit. Foul's gonna be on Nunez. Novas and Jaco Pina. Active on that offensive glass for the generals. No, absolutely. Early in his first half. A absolutely. And the generals, you know, being led, being led by Alexander Morales right now with nine points. Of course, you have Mariano. Ooh, you have Mariano Mateo. <laughs> was seven um you know this team is here to compete we saw it they were not favored in that game against brooklyn college academy brooklyn college academy who beat who beat transit tech earlier in the year and you know the generals were able to defeat them so you know they're not backing down just because it's a two-way team that's airborne right there Mateo catches the transition, still going to the basket, and one. Sweet move. Finishes through contact over the outstretched hands of Bryce Smalls. Stepping his way around. He's going to get an opportunity at the foul line. Largest lead of the game for the Generals. Up five again over the Cougars. Mariano up to nine. Can he make it ten? Knocks down an and one opportunity. 27-21 as we are a little bit under three and a half to play in this first half. 27-21. Gen the generals have the lead. And a little bit of miscommunication for the Cougars. Generals seem to be on a run right now. And here's the thing I also love about Gregorio Luperin. Their bench, they're only five on the court, but they're damn near playing with 15 or whatever they have on the roster because yeah. of how involved their bench is in the game. Absolutely. Love to see that energy. Definitely a team effort when they, they, they show up on the court. 
Yeah, I'm about to say, there's a lot of hand checking. He's going to get called for being too handsy. But the thing about Mateo's game, he's one of those players that can dribble in a phone booth. Yes, yes. You know, he's just a, you need a player like that that can just get after it in any way. You don't, you don't have to tell Mateo how to play. You don't have to tell him what to do in certain situations. He's a guy that's going to do what he's supposed to do and lead by example so that his other teammates fall in line. Bad pass. Poor pass right there from, from Sean and Livingston. Made him pay for it as he's going to go to the line. Yeah, that's the easy way to let a team that's bleeding out a bit back into the game try to do a cross-court pass in traffic. You know, you don't want Mr. Sir Patrick seeing the ball going to the hoop. No, you don't. You definitely do not. As he got a full head of steam to the basket. <laughs> By the way, fans, sorry if, if <laughs> we're right on. We are literally right under the buzzer here in uh, achievement first. <laughs> so that's a little loud. <laughs> sorry about that. Not sure what the stoppage here. Are they looking at the clock? We have it at 3.03 as well. Or are they looking at the fouls? Just explaining that substitution buzzer. Oh, buzzer explain this. a little bit prematurely. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So I'm pretty sure the refs are sorting that out with the table. Subs happen after the first shot. I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, okay, another buzzer. <laughs> so we've heard the buzzer. All right, guys, just in case you're worried. Word at home. The buzzer is working. We've Absolutely. heard it five times yeah. in a row. Yeah. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Cisse checking in for Melvin Nunez. Sir, pa Sir Patrick up to 13. So Donald getting into the lane. Ooh, we call that a travel. But I saw I saw a hand on him there when he was absolutely. going through the lane. A little surprising of a call there. Kelvin Sedano, also Mateo's translator in that uh <laughs> that interview. Oh, it, oh, I thought it was oh, I thought it was Morales. That was Kevin Sedano. Oh, you're right. Absolutely. It was Kevin. Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh, yeah, terrible pass right there from Sir Patrick, and the ball's gonna go back to the Generals. So they're both they're both viral. <laughs> if you want to call Absolutely. 25, How, what do the kids even consider viral at, at this point? I don't even know. Hey, oh, he has got to stop scaring me like that. What a <laughs> take right there from Mateo. <laughs> Yo, I thought we were. Those I thought two it was, steps makes me think he has. Yeah, I thought it was attention. show. I thought it was showtime. <laughs> so Patrick pulls up short on the jump shot. No Voss in transition. Man, the generals just look to run every chance they get. So Donald. Comes up with it. Mateo, he just pulls. He can't quite hit. Off left. Man. Does anyone have a greener light than <laughs> Like, what shade of green? That's the darkest green. That's the bright, whatever you want to say. He has the green light. I'm pulling up from 35. I'm pulling up from however how right. deep I want. He is confident in his game. You can tell. Thus, you know, his team is confident in him. They don't yes. worry about it. Yes. Because and they know he's a type of player that will go get it back on the defensive end. Yes, I, 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 that's such a good point. He's a hound on defense Absolutely. as well as confident on offense. Bowen pulls up and knocks one in. Ooh. I just love to see when young men step up confident into the shots. You know. Yes. Yes. Well, work on. This is the time to, 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 to execute what you've been working on. You know. It's not the time to play. It yeah. Safe. Don't hesitate. Yeah. Absolutely. You practice that. You worked on you that. Work on that. Go ahead and take that. What a defense right there from Bowen. Bowen to the bucket. One step, two step. They called that on the ground. No, no, sir. They called that on the ground. Wow. Got to save that We're call. Got to save that call, man. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a complete comparison to the other game where they get into <laughs> continuation. Exactly. <laughs> Tristan Bowen. It's attack, rim attack, but they're going to call it before he went up. So you see the, like, the, the pace and the momentum shifting a bit. Let's Absolutely. see if the generals can hold on to it. Yeah, that's a foul. So yes, sir. Yeah, I know. Entry pass. Yeah, that's a foul, man. You can't. Yeah. Foul what what Kelvin you always Kelvin say, you got to let them land. You got to let them land. Got caught right there, tracking the ball. Didn't see the defender. Collided. So just, just want to be sure. So that was in the playoff series. It was Kawhi Leonard who 
who someone's he stepped on someone's foot and broke his ankle in the yeah, he sprained his he sprained his ankle. Is it, that's really when the the rule got yeah like really like you know implemented and like something where it's like it becomes a flagrant foul if 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 you don't allow a shooter to land or they'll have to yeah. review it and things like that. Yeah. Because you know it's a very dangerous play when you think about it. Yeah. Yeah. And Greg Wolf and the generals have a tough time rebounding. And it, it, it is, it's got to be tough for the defenders, too, though. Like, you have to be switched on all the time. You can see you're running out to, to defend a three-pointer, and it, that went out on. Oh, okay. I, thought you're, that, you're, I don't know why I thought that was staying with the Generals. What a move right there from Livingston through contact. Counting a foul. Livingston just has not stopped working. His lead has fluctuated. They've had the lead. They've lost the lead, but he has remained... Consistent. One, one Sir Patrick is on pace to score 30. Just saying. Man. What was his average again? 40. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> there's that. In the playoffs, by the way. In the right. playoffs. In the playoffs, he's averaging 40. Where's the shore lines went up. Can't hit. And the Cougars are come down with it, getting it over the half court. Well, it was just a five point lead. Or I think it was seven, wasn't it? Great move right there from F. Xavier. What another reason. Cougars are killing them on the boards right now. Cissé with a great offensive. <laughs> and Pina is checking in. Cougars definitely. Mateo. The Cougars definitely have the, probably an offense defense. Oh no, this is offense. Uh, Mateo's half's probably over. Right now. Yeah, protect the. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Momentum's completely. Momentum's completely with the Cougars right now. Probably just want to protect protect the fouls. Yeah. Tough rebound Nunez. from Nunez. Strong rebound. Livingston on the move. Pulls up. Can't hit. Look pretty though. Spina is fouled. And now South Bronx Prep is only one foul away from being in the bonus. Or one foul away from putting Gregorio in the bonus, I should say. Coach is wondering the same thing you are. <laughs> Some of these guards for the generals are really fast. Ooh, nice little drop off pass. Wow. Ooh, he missed that one. Coach, the ref definitely missed that. Great effort right there from Cissé, but the ball's going to remain with the Generals. Just a one-point lead for the Generals as we have 38 seconds to play in this first half of this Champions Challenge. What a steal right there from Livingston, but he stepped out. That's what I said. That's very nice hands from Livingston. That was like a wide receiver. He just Absolutely. Almost kept the feed and bounce, but ball's going to remain with the generals. So this is where that height difference is really coming into play here. Hard for Gregorio to inbound the ball in the half court. About a three-second. Got, got, got to run a flare screen or something to do that. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. nice look. Inside. Livingston has it. Oh, what a spin move. Xavier has it, trying to tight rope that baseline. Runs out of real estate. Wario should hold for the line, and that's going to be sure free throws. Foul. Terrible foul Bad there. foul right there in backcourt. Trying to come back into this game. That's going to lead to free throws as the generals are in the bonus. Second foul on Melvin Nunez. Two fouls Focus. on Nunez. Yes. I mean, we talk about it all the time, right, Andre? Mentally focused, you know, especially in games that, that get this close. It, it really highlights who's the more mentally focused team. And again, you know, a lot of mentals come into this game. It's a new game. Yeah. You know, you just put your heart on the line to win a 1A championship, to win a 2A championship. Now you have to turn the burners back on yeah. to come out and compete again. 
And I would like to say both teams have really answered the call as well, very well, I'd say. Attacking the basket, up and down offense, very, very entertaining game, and very, very highly competitive. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. Yes. But you will not stay on both. 15 seconds remaining in this half. Generals lead by three. Xavier looking to make his move, and Sedano gets the steal. Morales couldn't hit, fight for it, and that's how the half is going to end. Huge missed opportunity for the Generals at the end of that, that half. But after two quarters, in this champion's challenge, your Gregory, Gregorio Luperon Generals lead by just three points, 31-28 over the South Bronx Prep Cougars. For the voice of Sage Media, this is Zach Mitchell. Andre Johnson will be back with second half action very shortly.
Welcome back to Selkin Half Action and his Champions Challenge. Gregorio Luperon Generals versus the South Conference Prep Cougars. After one half, it's 31-28 in favor of the Gregorio Luperon Generals. Lead, led by a great half from Morales and Mariano Ma Mateo. Just a reminder, the winner of this game Cougars still in this Tuesday game. Well, what would you take, Andre, from MIU that first half? Woo! I mean, you know, we were just talking a little bit offline. And, go. you know, and I love that camaraderie. You see Morales. Excuse me. You see the Gregorio hugging each other like, hey, guys, like, you know, we don't want this to be our last game. Um, my take is that I think it's going to be whoever has the ball last. You know, this is a game of momentum, a game of runs. It's been up and down, up and down. Um, so... Let's see. I think it's going to be whoever has the ball last. Let's see how it shapes up. Perez in transition. What a chase down block by Morales. Perez wanted a foul. Morales literally hunted Chase Perez down and said, get that stuff out of here. Again, these two teams are not ready to end their season. They have that brotherhood that they want to continue with the group. Livingston inbounds over to Bowen. Bowen going baseline. Kicks it out to Livingston. Livingston lines went up. Short. And sure couldn't get the rebound. Novas tried to block it, but Tristan Bowen Bowen's underneath. With Tristan Bowen. Cuts this lead to one. Pina loses the handle on the move. Catches it. Wow. Lost the handle. Nice shot by He gained it and, and shot it all in one motion. Impressive play from Pena. Man, look. Xavier returning the favor on that. What's with these two teams? Shot. It's like they come out from a break and then they can't miss. It's like, all right, time to score again. <laughs> Ventura out to Novas. Novas to the basket. Pena to follow. No box out right there from the Cougars as Nunez was right there. Gomez at six. Just like the beginning of the game, they're out firing. And then here goes Livingston. Livingston right with a move of his own. Morales to the cup. Can't quite hit. Another follow again for Pina. And, but this time they're going to call Ooh. over the back. I was always told if it wasn't over the back if you don't box out. It's not over the back if you don't box out. It's not over the back if you don't box out. You have to establish like legal rebounding position. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Like, I see if what you're, you're saying. Just looking at the basketball. Yes, yes, yeah. I see what you're saying. They said um, that used to be legal. I'm not. Maybe the, the rules have changed. But then, but 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 then it, it becomes very subjective, right? Then right. that what is a boxing out right. position? Because then he'll just say, "Oh, I was boxing out." Pena just scored on a play similar to that just now. Hmm. Interesting. Andy could. Nunez. That should have been an M1. What a cleanup. Cougars had the lead. Up one. What a pass right there from Morales to Morales. He couldn't hit though. Cougars retained possession. Livingston on the move. He's attacking the basket. He spins. He pump fakes. He contorts. He scores. Sir Patrick. Sir Patrick is at 20, and I don't think he's done scoring. What a split right there from Mateo. Kisses it off the glass. Just when you think one of them has done something impressive, they, like, try to match each other right down on the other side. Mariano at 12, but I don't think he's done scoring. <laughs> Tristan Bowen called for steps. Ball's going to go back to the Generals, man. This game is moving quick, and they are these kids are putting in some tough, tough buckets. This, this looks exactly like the beginning of the game. Like, <laughs> copy and paste. Control C, control Absolutely. V. Man, they'll, they'll, even one of these guys that want to give up an inch, nothing. They, they are fighting hard to represent the PSAL. Tail can't hit. Pena with the follow. He has been active. Shot out of a cannon, to say the least, out of, at the beginning of this third quarter. He was doing a lot of this. In the beginning, but now it's resulting two points. Man. Pena has been huge in this. I, he's a, he, this is, this could be a seventh point of the quarter. Make that seven. Man, the offensive rebounds are literally He is at nine points. points now. Absolutely. 
and another Lee James. <laughs> Eric over to Xavier. Xavier for three. Outlet from Pena. Ventura over to Morales. Morales tries his luck. Can't hit. Tristan Bowen to the basket. Locked by Novas, and that's going to be off of him. Great defense from the Generals. <laughs> Novas and Gomez have just been active in Mama ways for the Generals today. Absolutely. You know, th this, this reminds me of the play-in tournament. Remember how yeah. everyone was kind of yeah. like, oh, how is the play-in tournament going to really yeah. be? But then you see that, you're like, whoa, these guys are playing hard. What a shot by Pia. Passes a mid range. From the top of the key. Nine points in the quarter, 11 in the day. Oh He's putting goodness. the team on his back. Good Man. God, I can't even get a word out. He is moving right now for the Generals. A little over four and a half to play. Cisse tried to line one up. Mateo with a block. Tristan, Tristan Bowen back out to Xavier. Xavier left handed. And Novas got him on the jump shot. Got to be careful with the jump shooter. You don't want, never want to foul the jump shooter. Absolutely. And like I was saying before, this reminds me of the play-in tournament. <laughs> like, people are kind of like, how's this going to go? But then the team are playing real hard. It was a, a big success. Now, the Lakers putting up a banner for it. Uh, I don't know about how I feel about that. You know, I, I think that's a little disrespectful to all the men. Right. Beforehand, who earned a banner right, to right. put up a, a banner next to like a participation. Ma Magic Johnson? You know, right. come on now, <laughs> it's not an NBA championship. Anyway, that was a little sidebar. No, um, understand. <laughs> understand. <laughs> right there is Mark Diodor. is going to take a seat. But yes, you know, but that energy that the teams had in that play-in tournament, we see in the inaugural PSAL play-in game for the Catholic League as a turnover and Reds a block. Off the glass for Livingston. What a ball fake for Morales. Finishes at the club. Five point lead for the Generals. Morales in double figures. Trying to nutmeg him just now. <laughs> for rest of the cup. And he throws it away. Whoa! He <laughs> Listen, I've been I've seen it quite a few games on achievement first. I have never seen but you see how far away the the stands are from the kept running from the sideline. I have never seen someone I've seen at least He's six games. Me, I've seen at least six games here. I've never seen someone fall into the stands from here. He's better than me. Once I start running out of real estate, I stop. <laughs> but that shows you the passion both teams have in this inaugural Absolutely. playing game. I'm retired. Mateo pulls up. Can't hit over Perez. Great defense from Perez. Theodore. Xavier. What a rebound right there from Cisse. Effort. You got to rebound with your body. Don't just put your arm out to rebound. Livingston to the cup. No box out from the Generals is going to send Xavier to the line. He was right there for the offensive rebound. But, that, but that's something with, like, mentality, too, right? You have to stay in the game. You, know, you go out for the rebound. You go out with one arm just to bring it in. you got to bring your whole body into the rebound. Why? What happens when you go out with that lazy chicken wing? Yep. Someone comes and rips it right from, you, right from and you, and that's a two-point swing right there. Absolutely. Possibly. Mental mistakes. Being stronger with the basketball is going to definitely help both teams. As Sean... Olatun Hope I said that right. I like that. I like the little accent <laughs> you're throwing there, though. I like that. You know what I'm saying? He's checking in for the, 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 the generals as Elian Ventura takes a seat. Xavier at five. Three point game. If 
226 people here watching on a Friday night with us. Really appreciate you guys. Oh, I, I see the vision there. I like that. Yeah. Try a little touch pass. You also have Morales wide open under the basket as well. Morales does a great job of just sneaking into, you know, spots on the court where the defense just can't see him for some reason. And Whether it, it be in transition or just in a half-court offense, he does a great job of just positioning himself to be in scoring position. You know, and small things. And this team is just tremendously coached. Like, you see, like, the movement. Yes. From, like, this is a quote unquote a 1A team. You see right. the movement and how well coached they are. And they move as a cohesive unit. Absolutely. Sedano so trying to inbound right there. Sir Livingston making it tough for him. Sir Livingston, I mixed his name. Sir Patrick. <laughs> Sir Livingston. <laughs> Sir Livingston. Did. I didn't even catch that. He's been scoring so well, I figured let me have some respect. Pina for three. Can't hit. What a rebound. rebound. Right Over soon, but soon. And that ball's gonna be with South Bronx prep. Possession error over there. Nice rebound there. Craig is somewhere punching the air right there at that possession arrow. Possession. <laughs> <laughs> Craig is somewhere <laughs> punching the air. <laughs> oh, man. What's the holdup? Uh, shoelaces. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> no, no Kobe's on, 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 this, on this court. Yeah, I guess... I guess they uh, oh, only for Miss, Miss, Miss Elijah. Right, right. <laughs> the reverse Grinches. <laughs> only, only Kobe's for the young one. Xavier. Oh, gets his pocket picked by Morella to the basket. Finishes it for two. And I like, I like the finger roll with Man. a touch and with the finish. Man. Xavier trying his luck. Cisse with a follow. Gets it to go. There's no way that wasn't an M1. He has spent majority of his time during this game on the floor. Absolutely. Whether it be chase, charges, loose balls, saves, being fouled, he's had great, great energy for the Jaguars. I mean, the oh, Cougars. Three fouls already. How in the world was that not an M1 before? Though? Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. Mateo a little bit quiet this quarter as we got two and a half remaining in this, in this quarter. As soon as I said that, he must have heard me. Yo, you you got to speak into the mic. Uh, you got to speak into the mic. Uh, what, did you, what were you saying about Mateo? I, oh, nothing. It was just, it was good. It's fine. Sedano with a steal from Xavier, and he caused a finger roll. Morales with a follow. Mateo. Pina. Pina absolutely worked. In this quarter, Pena has put the, I'll say it, Man, he, he's put the backpack on in this he's quarter. He right, has a double-double just in this quarter alone right now. <laughs> he, it, it's about to be 11. Man. It's about to be 11 points in this quarter if he converts the free throw. Man. He came into this quarter with two points. He's at 11 right now. Man. He is absolutely dialed in. That second half gave him all the, uh, the, the clarity he needed because he has come out like the same player at the first half, but times two. He can't hit the first right there. Nunez checking in. Yeah, I, I think you need the guy. You know, you need to put Nunez have that that big presence yeah, down yeah. low. Yeah, coach is saying enough is enough. The one, the one A champion sticking it to the two A champions, all with a trip to play Regis on Tuesday in LIU to represent the PSAL on the line. Splits at the line, and Morales is called for the foul right there on Livingston. Third foul on Morales. Bowen's probably going to come and get Perez. It's coming to get Perez. Two minutes left. Generals with a six point lead. Almost a steal right there. Bowen corrals and goes behind the back to the cup. Tough finish for Bowen. Man, what a way to get that over that Pena. Bowen at seven. Mariano Mignot, Mateo. Wow. Wow. Santos. That is the tweet. Wow. Mariano with 16. Tristan Bowen. Rebound, Mateo. Oh, a tough screen. What a screen right there. Yo, this is a tough game here, Man. Jack. And a block.
blocking call is going to be called as Livingston was on the rack attack. That was on Milton Moore. He forces he forces yeah, absolutely. He forced the, the ref to make the call there. And, and that's what your best, best, best great players do. You force the ref to make a, a call, whether it's going to be one way or the other. And right there, he's the aggressor right there, initiating contact, won't be denied from the cut. He's going to get a chance to go to the and line. And let me tell you something. I am fine with either of these teams representing the PSAL against Regis. Absolutely. You know, may, uh, maybe Regis, you know, some scouts are watching. Right. Sage Media waving hi to you guys. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are watching. Because Tuesday night, you better be ready. Right. You better be ready for two competitive teams Absolutely. coming at you. Either regardless of who comes out victorious, it's going to be a team that's not going to quit, that's going to play every second, every possession. Right now, as Livingston hits Sir Patrick at 21 points before the fourth Split quarter. Oh, my goodness. What a move right there from J.P. Pena. Spin the stool. Wow. Spinning and pirouetting his way to the cup. Finishes with the soft load, and the big man is just showing out. My hands are up. I can't believe Pena in this. Quarter. I can't believe it. <laughs> wow. What a quarter. Pena is at 14 points. He came into this quarter with two. Two, Shaq. <laughs> Dos, Shaq. Dos. It's amazing to watch when a player just locks in. And that's what we're seeing right now from Jaco Pena. He's doing whatever it takes for the generals to be successful in this game right now. Mateo over to Sedano. Sedano. Showing off the handle. Crosses over on Perez. Attacking baseline. Finds Morales. Morales goes up. Can't hit. Perez comes down with it. General's pressing. 34 seconds left in this half. Heads his quarter. Livingston to the cup. He finds a way to work. Break it in. I'm running out of room for his scoring. Did you see how he contorted his body to avoid the He's charge? He's a contortionist, man. Part-time contortionist. As... The ball's going to remain with the Generals. The Great defense right there from the Cougars. The, the pure basketball skill we're seeing in this game is very, very high, Jack. Absolutely. Both teams are not backing down, and their star players are showing up and showing out. Look at Pena again with another offensive rebound. Ball remains with the Generals. I mean, do I even need to watch it? You just let me know if something good's happening. It's Pena. <laughs> Does, does this power up end in 11 seconds, or is he going to bring this into the fourth <laughs> quarter? Man, time out. What, was it called 2K to hit the, the, the takeover? The takeover, yes, absolutely. Does this takeover up in 11 this takeover, seconds? This takeover has not budged at all, man. This is crazy. But but how do you – But listen, I'm not a big 2K guy, but, like, don't you have to, like, you know, get buckets before your takeover absolutely. starts? Like, some, no, he sometimes came, – Sometimes it could be what you're good at, you know, depending on. You know, oh, so something right? else if can fill up the meter. Oh, <laughs> having his rebounds, he might get hot from the rebounds. You know, it's it's, it's a lot. It's a beautiful thing. Because Pena has his takeover has just been just off been rebound, on this whole game. Rebound. man. Listen, special special game. You know, it's <laughs> definitely not out of this. I mean, obviously it's a five point game, but just right now could just see that the generals are just a little bit more hungry than the Cougars right now. Absolutely. And this action is brought to you by Sage Media Solutions. We're not going to stay here long. You know, there's a lot of action to get to, so make sure you tune in. Mariano. Mateo can't hit. Eight seconds to play. Cougars can't get a shot off. What a steal right there from Morales. Wow. That's the end of the third end quarter. End of the third quarter right there. General still hold on to a five-point lead in this champion's challenge. Eight minutes to see who, the, who is going to represent the PSAL versus the Catholic League in this champion's challenge. 1A versus 2A. Remember what is on the line here. Why are they playing Drake right now? This is throwing <laughs> me off. <laughs> this is not the vibe. Anyway. Right. Um, what is on the line here? It is a trip to represent the PSAL against Regents on Tuesday night. We will be covering that game. Every, everyone here, we have 240 people in the chat, right in the chat, in the live stream right now. You see Coach is 
demanding more from his Cougars, demanding more. Show us some heart. Wake up is what he's telling them. This could be your last time in a Cougars jersey. Yeah, that's what you got to really do. This could be your last time representing South Bronx Prep. So what do you have down you? Do you have the dog in you, Shaq? Right. Do you have the dog in you? That's what it seemed like Coach was talking with his, his players right there, giving them that pep talk, letting them grasp the moment, letting them grasp what's at stake, what what's on the line, you know, not taking advantage of this eight minutes, you know? could be your last eight minutes in a Cougar jersey. How do you want to be remembered? As the crowd gets into it, trying to put some wind in the sail of South Bronx Prep. Eight minutes to see who is the champ. Wow. What happened there? Shot clock didn't like turn on? ref just stopped greatness right there. He just, just messed up my call attack. there, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Should I just restart? What the hell, man? I can't say seven minutes and 56 seconds away from right. that doesn't sound as good. Can you put the four seconds back on so I can restart? They're messing you all up, Andre. Can, can I get my four <laughs> seconds back? I'm ready. Just give me my four Coach seconds Smith. back. Coach Smith, Coach Smith, come to the table. Now they're uh, requesting for Coach Smith. What could have happened just now? What are they, what are they looking at? What is messed up? Be a rest time out. That was so anti right Which clock? It's the main clock. I think that uh, it's that a it's, it's a seven. I I, 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 know, I know you guys can't see it. Let me let me try to. I'm trying to point my camera person. Go to the shot clock and zoom in. So I'm trying to. Is that what they're trying to fix? Cause that's a seven. That's not a. I don't think it's a one. I think the. I think the light is just out. Oh, the light. You know what I'm saying? The light on top of oh, the yeah, seven you know, is I just out. That's that. a seven. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not sure. Like one shot clock wouldn't be broken. Right, right. Out of all four of them, would have been broken. Tristan Bowen for three. Melvin Nunez with a follow. And he is fouled. I really hate that. That just threw off the whole momentum of of that quarter there. Like it was very clear that all one, two, three, four, five, there are five shot clocks on. One of them is is it where the, the lights aren't on clearly. Like this, the, the, if there was a problem, the problem would have been with all of the shot clocks. Nunez trying. He can't hit the first. Nunez is had a very quiet day. He's only at two points, and, you know, he was a beast on the yeah. boards and scoring in that two-way championship Absolutely. against huge, Seward Park. Huge, huge for, for, for the Cougars last game. He's not starting the second. Cissé coming in for Tristan Bowen. Mateo, you know, he wants to get out and run. Rush that one right there. Even regardless of the miss, I've been very impressed on how Gregorio has broken the press. Absolutely. Xavier lines one up. <laughs> Lefty connects on one. Big shot. Shaq, it's a one-point game. Who is trying to go back to LIU Brooklyn? Morales, Florida. Got it. Right over Nunez. He's been so tough today. Morales isn't ready to go home. He's at right 15. And, and one from Livingston. Took the contact from Sean Olatun Basun. And one opportunity on the way. Let's see. So so Livingston is at 25. So I guess I guess I should just continue down here. Just just start another paper. Just 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 yeah, just start down there or something. He's He's got seven minutes left. Number 23. <laughs> I've been putting another 13 down here. <laughs> He's right. at 26. <laughs> 26 points. <laughs> For Sir Patrick Livingston. He's has the game high. We are tied here. Make sure you guys share the link out. This is for a trip back to LIU to go against the champions of the Catholic League at the 2A division, Regis. 
She said called on a fe- reaching Mariano Mateo. Fise's got four. Theodore's coming in for Cisse right now. They want to preserve him. He's been playing great defense. Yeah, he's had, he's had three or four fouls, he's correct? four right now. That's why they've sat him down. Mark Theodore just came in for him. Mateo on Perez. Yeah, that's a foul. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah I think it's that's time to start. the matchup you want on uh, Mateo. Mateo is too strong, too fast for, for, for Chase Perez. Yeah, I think it's going to be time to start calling it. They're gonna, I think they're going to start calling it tighter now. Yeah, yeah. They've been hand-checking yes. all game Definitely. long. So that's going to keep these defenders off. And hopefully nobody loses. Uh, look at Livingston accepting the challenge. He's, he told, he's told Theodore, move, I got Mont- Mateo. I love that from their star player right there. I love that. Man, I I still can't get over the the quarter from the young man over here. Pena has just been special tonight. Pena at 14 points, looking to make it 16. He makes it 15. 13 and averaging 13 and 8, playing well above his role. Today. And he's only, you know, he's only one point behind Mariano. Huge, huge, huge for, for the Generals. Misses the second, but he was able to give the Generals a lead. Get on the floor. And the ball's going to go off of Livingston. Great defense right there from Kelvin Sedano. Just harassing Sir Patrick Livingston. One point game here. Man, this this quarter is going by so slow it doesn't look like Livingston on Mateo. Mateo. The one man press break. The one man press break! Wow. Mariano Mateo is so special. Finding Morales right there down low for the layup. Morales with 17. He's always in the right spot. Man, Livingston just mauled. He keeps just putting his head down and going inside. I mean, I think at this point, you, you got to drop off of Mariano, right? Like when he gets the ball at full court. He's breaking the press. He's, he's dribbling through three people. You need to push your players back, I'd Absolutely. say. Absolutely. He's too fast to even be able to get in front. So you got to put yourself at a better position. As Livingston attacking, and he scores again. 28 for Livingston. 19 for Morales. Morales. Having the same exact game as last game. I mean, huge for the Generals right now. Active hands. High-fiving each other. This Generals team is the definition of a team. And they are fighting tooth and nail to get back to LIU. There's multiple people that have... Participated. Did they call a double technical? 34. Double foul. A double foul. They called a double foul right there. Four foul on Mayha Polonka. I think I like that better than uh, a technical, right? Second no? Foul well, because a technical in high school still counts as a personal, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So. Xavier. Woo! And Xavier with a response to tie the game. Xavier with 12. He said, that's three on your head. Right. Tie game. <laughs> 60 all. Tristan Bowen with a steal. What a block from Pina. What? Excellent defensive play right there. <laughs> Livingston with a rebound the from the floor. <laughs> Timeout, Cougars. Man, what a sequence right there. What a sequence right there, Andre. What what can I say? I mean, Xavier hits the three in the pocket. <laughs> they get the steal. They pin it to the backboard. Livingston oh. getting a rebound from the ground. It's, it's, these teams won't be denied. 60 all, five and a, a little over five and a half to play. Man, they, somebody wants to represent the PSAL, man. <laughs> when the PSAL... Drew this PSAL matchup up, 
and they said, you know what, let's have the 1A play against the 2A. I mean, we were all there in LIU this yep. past Sunday. Yep. I mean, they must have been Birdman hands, <laughs> Birdman hands, <laughs> looking at these two teams, and they knew what was going to happen on, the, on, on this Friday that. night. Had to. This is Washington Heights, South Bronx competing to make a trip back to LIU to represent the PSAL in the Catholic League versus PSAL Challenge. Absolutely. Game's still tied. Definitely, I think you I think you said it best. It's going to come down to the last possession. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I saw at, at halftime. I really think it's going to be who has the ball last. And that's so important. Possessions matter. Perez. Livingston is going to pull it out. Yeah. That's a really bad foul. Nunez, Nunez has been struggling all game. And four foul is that the fifth foul? Or we have four fouls apiece. Wow, so there's 528 left in this game. And oh, that was the fifth foul. Bonus, so that yeah. was the fifth foul. So now the Cougars are in the bonus for 528 left. Yeah, that's a that's a tough foul there. Nunez can't hit the first. Struggled a little bit from that line today. I feel no box in the game. Yeah, Nunez has been having a tough game. But again, if it wasn't for Nunez, they would not even be in this position. Nope, they would not. And yeah, he still has time to pick up his game in terms of combating what Pina's done for the, the generals. Another lead change, Shaq. And that's foul shots. Absolutely. Listen, if you guys have plans to hit the spot tonight, we could be here for a little minute. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> yeah, it says 527. You might as well put 30 minutes right. on there. You might as well put 40. Let's be real. We're going to be here for another 45 this minutes. And I ain't mad at it. Let me say that. This is some good basketball. I am here. I'm here. I'm here for it. No boss. Knocks down the first free throw to tie the game. Seeing the crowd starting to get more involved as we wind down. No boss with eight. Hey, what did you know? Another lead change, Shaq. Right. I don't think that's the last time I'm going to say up. that. Pull up. I don't think that's God the last God. time I'm going to say that. Another lead change. Man, the way the generals are just dribbling through this press. They're a steal right there, bro. What a bucket right there from Slimiston. And then he flexes the muscles. That is a 30-piece. Be careful, Gregorio Luperin. I feel the wave. It's coming towards South Bronx Prep. Don't get swept up in it. And this happened during Seawood Park. Livingston had a quick flurry, and Seawood Park wasn't able to respond. The generals had to be careful right now. Bowen attacking Mateo. Nice pass. Number five right there, a little give and go. Five-point lead for the Cougars, under four and a half to play. What a block from Nunez. The, Gregorio need a timeout. You can just see a team that's getting swept into the wave right now. They're pulling you out into the middle of the ocean. They need to take a breath. It's five points at the blink of an eye, Shaq. Pull up for Morales. He got it. Calms down his teammate. What a, what a, what a nice Pull up mid-range. When you're bleeding out, you need a man to come and get that midi for you. Absolutely. That's 20 for Morales. That should be on the ground, though. That's not shots, right? Is that shots? Oh, oh, okay, yep. yep. Yeah, you're right. Four foul on Morales. That's huge. Morales with 20 points leading He's all scores for Gregorio Luperin. He's got to be very careful for a full four minutes. 
He doesn't pick up any unnecessary and he, he can't sit down. He can't. He's got to play very careful. I'm pretty sure Coach doesn't want to take him out. As Julius knocks down the first shot. South Bronx Prep. 410 remains in this game. Trip to play Regis at LIU. The team knocks down both. Oh, spin move from Sedano. Lost Livingston. <laughs> what a play right there from Mateo. I don't think Mariano wrote it, drew it up like that, wow. but he'll take it. Player that just has a knack for scoring. Tristan Bowen, oh my goodness. Almost sat down Novas with a crossover. Bench loving that. Bowen for three. Can't hit. Novas. Gets it out to Mateo. Hop step. Into the bot lane. What a bucket by Mateo, finishing amongst the trees. Mariano up to 20, one point game. Livingston to the cup. Oh my goodness, 30. Is that 30 for Livingston? Sir, that's 32, oh sir. <laughs> Pina to the cup, Morales over to Novas. Novas up, got it. One point game, man, this game's going quick. Three minutes left, champions challenge. 1A versus 2A. Livingston with 32. He's working on Sedano. Sedano. And it's going to be a foul on Sedano. The bump. Are you telling me we're not looking at two of the top 12 teams in the city right now? It has to be. In the PSAL, I'll say? It has to be. 1A, 2A. These got to be two of the top 12 teams in the PSAL. Putting 4A on notice. Putting 3A on notice. We have game down in these divisions as well. Absolutely. They're letting people know there is some talent in all divisions of the PSAL. Livingston knocks down his first free throw. The Generals have not let the Cougars get far. Every time. And neither team has let each other do too much of a lead, honestly. 33 points for Sir Patrick. Man, right, up, right on track for his averages, huh? Short on the free throw. As the Generals do a poor job rebounding, but they're able to steal it from Livingston as Novas goes to the basket. Wow. Novas, a man among boys, flying in there for a right hand kiss off the glass. We have a tie game. Novas with 12. <laughs> Livingston is just out of his mind right now. And that's he a turnover. Miss. The Cougars have the ball back. Turnover for the Novas Generals. with 12. Livingston with 35 points. 35 Man. for Livingston. X lines went up. Big, big shot for the Cougars. Was a timeout for the Cougars. Was that the nail in the coffin? A five-point swing for the South Bronx Prep Cougars. Great timeout from the great Gloria Luperon coach. They've got a lot of time, two and a half minutes, a little under two and a half left to play, but that could prove to be a huge. I'm not gonna the lie, South they Prep needed Cougars. that. They needed that timeout two minutes ago. I'm Absolutely. not even gonna lie to you. You and just feel that momentum shift. Yeah, that the momentum shifted two minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the coach knows better than me. I am just a mere <laughs> commentator. We are here for the community. If you are interested in any business inquiries with Sage Media Solutions, we will come to your next school. We don't need a broadcaster booth. We don't need nothing but an outlet. Right. So please, Sage Media Solutions on the website. Follow us on all the social medias. Wow, wow. Jack. Yeah, man, I've, <laughs> I've been here. I've been treated to a real treat. I'm not going to lie. I knew this game would be close, but never did I expect a game like this. It's a five-point difference right now. As the ref is... 
Let's go. I think Cissé's shaking up a little bit. Right there. Like you said, he's, he's played most of the, the majority of the game on the ground, hasn't he? Yeah, Cissé's been on that ground. I think he just fouled out. That's why he's upset. That's the fifth foul on Mohamed Cissé. And you, and you just see what it means to the team. No one wants this to be their last game. Cissé emotional because he wants to keep putting on for his team. How he contributed to this team. He's going to have to put that trust in his teammates. Morales at the line as he knocks down the first. The Warriors, Luke Braun has been able to stay in this game from free throw shooting. Absolutely. That's uh, been a big factor of them staying in. By the way, I, I had to make another column for Morales. He's at 21. Absolutely. He's been, been their friend. And they've capitalized. Livingston can't quite hit right there, but. It's only a two possession game, Shaq. A little over two minutes left to play. Livingston to the basket. <laughs> Livingston is just relentless. He doesn't mind going to that basket every it, time. But I, I, I think Gregorio Lupert have to do something different, though. I think they have to get the ball out of his hands. Absolutely. They got to send two people to him at the three yeah, point team, line. Get the ball out of get his Get the hands. ball out of his hands. He's had the ball for the past eight possessions. 2 0 1 to play. Like, right. send two now. Now it's too late. You see? Now it's too late. Pass. And Nunez can't hit. That's going to be a jump ball. And that's a Gregorio Luperin ball. Gregorio Luperin just doesn't give up, do they? They don't stop fighting. Great rotational defense right there to get them the basketball back. With a little under two minutes left to play and only down four. And hey, Nunez missed a bunny, a bunny there, though. Man. Man. Here comes that full court press. Great setup for Livingston. That was blown right there. Novas. He's going to control the inbound. And Pina. Pina. Great. Who else other than Pina? The Jew inside. Jordan foul. They have had a tough time stopping Four him since the second half has started. Yeah, and then, and then you know you, you you spoke about you spoke about free throw shooting. It's going to come down to the free throws here. He's been here quite if a you few sink, times. If you sink two, it's a possession one possession game. game. Excuse me, it's already a one possession game, actually. But you know that possession becomes a little more easier. You can you can tie or, or take the lead. Absolutely. I mean, Pena coming into the half of two points. He's at 16 right now. What a turnaround. Make it 17. What a turnaround for Pina. 75-77. Minute 40 left in this game. Who's going to go play Regis? They got to meet him too. Nunez making up for that gimme he missed last time on a time down. Mateo quickly. And he loses the ball. Xavier comes up with it, and he is fouled by Morales. They called the timeout before oh, the foul. That would have put Morales, that would have put Morales on the bench. He has four fouls. Huge timeout right wow. there. Wow, that's that's Huge crazy timeout. timing. That is crazy timing. Hopefully Xavier's all right. Yeah, he fell right he on his wrist ball. there. Yeah. Shaq, a minute twenty-two left. You know, I'm seeing this and I'm thinking. I think. An adjustment needed to be made earlier. Yeah. I mean, with five minutes to go. I mean, this whole fourth quarter, Sir Patrick has brought the ball up. Everything has run through Sir Patrick. Right. And he has not seen a double team on top of the outside of the three-point line. You know, when, when you double him when he's already past the free throw line, it's too late because now what has he done? Whoop, little drop-off pass to Nunez. Yep. you got to meet him earlier. And for Gregorio Luper on offense, it's just all about – Staying composed, you know, a minute 23 left. You're only down four points. Yes. The door is left. still open, but you got to get a stop here. Absolutely. One minute and 20 seconds remaining. Ball with Livingston. And Z, you, you meet him here. The double right there. 
Charles going to go you out. See, you see what happens when you meet Sir Patrick at the three-point line with Absolutely. the double team? He's got to, if, if you're the general, somebody else has to beat you. It can't be Livingston. A stop is crucial here. Livingston for three. He can't hit. Livingston tried to send us all home. Man, he was trying to go home. Minute left in this game. 60 one seconds. Minute remaining, one minute. What a layup right there from Novas. Quick release. Fine by Pina. Out the point. Beautiful possession basket pass. Novas at, at 15. Down three. Got to meet him with the double team. There you go. Don't foul. You see, get the ball out of his hand. In this game. 17 on the shot clock. Send the double. There you go. Livingston. Fills oh, he carried. he carried. He carried. Timeout from the coach. Did he not carry? <laughs> not sure. I didn't see that one. Ooh, the I coach. thought. I thought so coach grabbed that timeout before. I thought happen. when you saw him come with the double team, I saw yeah, him turn, turn back, so I but I see. saw, but I saw he palmed the oh, ball. Man. That's what I saw when he Coaches, turned. Refs missed that one. Then. That's, two, that's two, two saving graces with a coach timeout. That's the, the the fifth foul on on Alexander Morales, and then the carry or a turnover possibly from from Livingston. Yeah, man. I mean, we have a two-point game with 29 seconds left. Both teams are vying to represent the PSAL against Regis High School on Tuesday. That game is going to be live on Sage Media Solutions. I mean, if you are one of the 300-plus people in this chat, I mean, you have to. I mean, I'm sure you're rooting for one team or the other, but you have to be so proud of both teams, Absolutely. how they represent themselves tonight. What's happened, you know, in this gym today, you know, shows that it's the confirmation that the PSAL was right about this move because yep. the, the intensity, the competitiveness to this game is just amazing. 11 on the shot clock. Xavier tried to get the ball. Perez over to Nunez. Xavier lines one up. Can't hit. No box out for the generals, and it leads to a putback. They need the foul. Perez gets the ball. And Perez stepped out of bounds. Ball's going to remain with the Generals with five seconds to go. One possession game. Coach is going to get a timeout and draw something up for the Gregorio Luperon Generals. There's still life. You know when, like, you ever see the, the Buffalo Wild Wings commercial where they hit the button for, like, overtime or something like that? Absolutely. Did somebody hit the button for overtime? <laughs> Actually, they just put another point on the board, so there's gonna Wait. actually gonna be four. Actually, leading by four instead of three. Did we did we miss I a guess point the coach there? With the, the, the table was a little late adding that point. Oh, it was a two. Yeah, it was a two point game. Oh, that was the yeah. It was that a just two sealed point it. Game. That makes sense. Oh Not man. Just yet. They have been fouling jump shooters throughout this game, and. You know, this is a game where you just want to make sure it's over when it's zeros on the clock. You never you know, know what You know happen. what I think happened on that play when nobody was boxing? I think the buzzer confused them. Yeah, I think so. That shot clock ending before, you know, the real time ending. It just it threw them off. But because yeah, Gregorio kind of stopped and Sir Patrick just was right there. Absolutely. That was actually a follow from Soliman Kamara. Number 10. Oh, uh, oh I didn't. Oh, actually, I apologize. I think Fahim was... Adika, number zero. That was on the South putback Prince just now? From, from oh. South Bronx. So excuse Prince me, I, I gave Adika those points was on the, was, was there on the, on, the, on the offensive putback. Man, so, uh, I mean, a quick two. It's out of bounds. Uh, Mariano Mateo with a late game hoist. But with a four-point lead and 1.9 seconds left, it looks like the South Bronx Prep Cougars are going to pull out yet another close one. That's the end of the game. Final score, 17-17.
Sir Patrick with 35 points. And it will be the South Bronx Prep Cougars who will represent the PSAL against Regis High School. I want to give my sincerest shout out to Gregorio Luperin for the effort they put in today. I mean, that was a back and forth seesaw affair. The 1A team absolutely put on for all of Washington Heights today. Absolutely. You know, you're going to see more of these teams around the city now because they put the city on notice with their level of play. You know, both teams leaving it all out there on the court with a chance to play for the PSAL. And we were really in for a treat, Andre. I'm not going to lie. That was a most special, special performance from the kids, Sir Patrick Livingston. I mean, 35 points is just huge when your team needs you. And he literally had the dance board on today. So again, Tuesday, it will be the Cardinal Spellman representing the Catholic League versus the High School of Construction Red Hawk, Lady Red Hawks. That will be the first game on the Tuesday. And then it will be Regis High School of, of the Catholic League going up against the South Bronx Rep Cougars. And we will be there the day before for the game the right. 3A game. So this right. is just too many games. Yeah. Jack, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. And we're getting an absolute treat for the closeout of this PSAL basketball season. Yes. So if you don't mind, I will close out. This is Andre Johnson here with my partner, Jack Mitchell. Thank you for watching and supporting all throughout this postseason. And we have some more basketball. So we will see you guys on Monday at Long Island University.